Hey guys, Will Walker here. This is the William Walker Company Project channel. So I just finished up building this live edge cherry dining table and it's got these metal, uh, this metal braced legs here, these tapered, flared, splayed, however you want to call it, metal legs. And <clears throat> it occurred to me that while I was using my metal cutting bandsaw, uh, I couldn't find much information on cutting fluid. So I thought we'd go over that. All right, so what am I talking about? I'm talking about cutting fluid that would go in a metal cutting bandsaw with a reservoir uh, that the fluid would come out of this nozzle and keep the blade cool while you're cutting. So there's a lot of different things out there and uh, there's something like this, which is called Rely On. Um, and this is just a formula. It's just formulated for you. It's a straight oil. You just apply it to the bandsaw in the reservoir uh, or the workpiece itself and that's it, you're done. Problem with that is uh, my reservoir is almost four gallons. I think it's 3.8 something gallons. So buying a gallon of this at a time would be pretty cost prohibitive. The other option is this stuff. It's, it's called Rustlick and it's water soluble oil. And that makes absolutely no sense to me because you learn water and oil don't mix, but hey, Lo and behold, they do. This is Rustlick WS5050, and the cool thing about this is your mixture, your formula is like, it's one part of this to five to 30 parts water. And so in doing some research in some forums, I found that a lot of guys just say, okay, well I mix one cup of this to a gallon of water. So I thought I'd go over that. To mix the oil, I just grabbed a half gallon milk jug in a plastic cup. I used a measuring cup to put half a cup of water in the plastic cup and mark the volume with a piece of tape. I wasn't too concerned with exact measurements since there was such a broad tolerance in the dilution scale. Whenever you're mixing things like this, remember the mnemonic device oil. Oil in last. Why? Because science, that's why. In all honesty, I have no idea why, but that's what the instructions said to do. Also, try to spell the word mnemonic. I did this five times to fill about two and a half gallons, enough to fill the reservoir between the high and low lines. Then I started cutting metal. This saw is the Grizzly G4030 and it's going to take my metal working to the next level. But more on that in another video. This is about cutting fluid. I had found plenty of information in forums online but didn't see any videos of people actually doing it. So I made this video for people who might be confused about what fluid to put in their saw. Or other people out there who are more visual learners like me. I hope it helps. And that's it for this video guys. I just finished up the table. I'm delivering it tomorrow. There's going to be a video on this. Uh, I know I keep saying that in the videos, but it's actually finished. Look at it, it's pretty cool, right? Um, if you like what I'm doing, let me know in the comments section. And if you're not already subscribed, I highly encourage you to do so if you want more woodworkery, metal workery, makery type videos like this. Uh, until next time, guys, I'm Will Walker. This is the William Walker Company Project Channel. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.